Alrighty, so a little while ago I posted a video going over a hypothetical question of what if Sonic Generations featured different stages? What if instead of Crisis City as a Sonic 06 rep, we got Kingdom Valley? That kind of thing. I had a lot of fun with it, and it seems like a lot of people in the comment section liked it too. I saw some really good lists there as well, and some requests to make a follow-up video going over some of the other games that weren't even included in base game, like the handheld or storybook series. Well ask and you shall receive. Now my criteria for picking stages for these games a little bit different from the last time, so for starters, I'm only going to be looking at the main platformers for this video, so I'm sorry to all the Tails, Sky Patrol, and Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine fans out there, but they ain't showing up. Also, unlike the last video, I haven't actually played some of these games featured here, so I'm going to be going off of footage online for those games as well as the occasional review here and there. I'm also taking into account that a lot of these stages would look drastically different in a generation style level, so I'm not going to be focusing too much on the layout of each stage. But with all that said, let's boogie. Sonic 1 Game Gear Edition. Just for full context here, I have not played any of these Game Gear games, so for these I'm choosing purely based off how interesting the stage looks from videos I see online. And as far as Sonic 1 of the Game Gear goes, I'd say Bridge Zone is a solid pick. It gets the Green Hill-like level out of the way, and I can imagine looking pretty good with modern graphics. Just get rid of that auto-scrolling part, we don't need that. Sonic 2 Game Gear, Sky High Zone. Now, the main reason I'm picking this stage is because the hang glider. Hang gliding is quite epic, and I think that gives this stage a unique gimmick that is fun and helps it stand out a little bit. Sonic CD, Starlight Zone. You see, it's funny because in the last video I accidentally called Starlight Zone Starter Speedway, so now I'm doing the opposite on purpose. But yeah, this is easily the standout stage for CD and would definitely make a fun level to go through. Sonic Chaos. Aqua Planet Zone. Now I'll be the first to say that I'm not usually a fan of water levels in games, however I do really like the background of this level. It's all shrouded in a deep purple with floating islands in the backdrop. It's hard to say of what a lot of these Game Gear levels would look like nowadays, seeing as how most of them would have to be heavily altered to work as a generation stage, but if it can keep the same atmosphere, then I'm all for it. Sonic Triple Trouble, Sunset Park. Okay now hear me out. This stage takes place during the sunset, right? What if they did the silhouette thing like in Donkey Kong Country Returns, where the characters in foreground were all shrouded in black? I think that would be a really beautiful and standout level if they did that. I'm not entirely sure how they would accomplish this for a modern Sonic in a 3D setting, but I still think this could turn out to be a really good level, even if it's only 2D Sonic who gets the silhouette treatment. Knuckles Chaotix, Marina Madness. Taking a closer look at this game, I really don't like the aesthetics of the zones all that much. They all blend in together, and there's simply just way too much going on. The main reason I'm choosing Marina Manus is just because it's the most subdued out of the bunch. Sonic 3D Blast. So with this game, it's really hard to pick a stage, purely just because the stage layout in each zone is so different from any other game on this list. So I'm really just picking it based off a setting, which are all kind of generic, so in that case, I guess I'll pick Volcano Valley, why not? I haven't picked the lava level yet, so congratulations Volcano Valley, you win! Sonic Blast. You know, looking closer at this game, it uh, doesn't really look all that uh, visually appealing. The stages are also just kind of whatever. I suppose I'll pick Silver Temple, because maybe the teleporters can be used for something? I don't know. I mean, just nothing about this game is speaking to me. Maybe I just won't even include this game in the video. Wait a minute, is that a Sun Wukong Robotnik? I take back everything I just said. This is the greatest game of all time. Sonic can be Goku confirmed. Game of the life. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 100 out of 100. Best game. Best game. Sonic Advance. Angel Island. Now, first off, I'm just gonna say that in the actual game, this stage is not one of my favorites. Primarily because of the amount of bottomless pits and zoomed in camera. However, I'm choosing this anyway for two reasons. A. I gotta get some Angel Island representation in this list. Like, come on. And B. In a generation-style remake, they could easily fix the previously mentioned issues. Sonic Advance 2, Music Plant. Of course I gotta pick the music-themed level, the Kinemi, whether it's Melody Town in Kirby's Epic Yarn, or the Fantasia World in Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. Music-themed levels will always be top tier, and this could easily follow suit if done right. I mean, the OST for the stage is already a bop, so all that's left is to HDify it. Sonic Advance 3, Twinkle Snow. I originally wanted to put Route 99 here, but I'm opting for Twinkle Snow to diversify things a little bit. Just look at that Aurora Borealis in the background. That's a pretty backdrop. There is also minecarts to travel in as well, so I'll leave you with that. Shadow the Hedgehog, Westopolis. 
I mean, you're already gonna be playing the stage 50 times in the original game, so was there really any other choice? Now, we surprisingly do have a small chance of seeing this stage pop up again in some form or fashion in the upcoming Shadow Campaign for the Generations Remaster, so who knows? This is also our one and only chance to give Sonic a gun, so I feel obligated to take that chance. Sonic Rush. So this is the only game on this list that is actually featured in Generations. For those who don't know, in Sonic Generations for the 3DS, they actually included Water Palace from Sonic Rush. It's a shame they didn't include more handheld games, but I'll take what I can get. With that said, however, I'm picking Night Carnival, because those colors are making me feel so right. Also, the music is just too good, like, come on, they gotta put it in. Sonic Rivals Coliseum Highway. So you're telling me there's a stage based off of ancient Greece? Enough said, I'm sold. Now all that's left is to put Sonic their Trojan horse. Sonic Rush Adventure, Haunted Ship. I like pirate ships, and I like spooky settings. Put that together, and you get this zone. Honestly, in HD, I think this look really cool. The question is, where do these pirate ships come from? Some say you can hear the souls of those fallen to this very day. Sonic Rivals 2, Frontier Canyon. So you're telling me, there's a Sonic stage based off of the Cowboy Western era? That's pretty cool. I mean, hey, if I can play as Knuckles with the cowboy hat through this stage, I'd say that's a win in my book. Sonic and the Secret Rings. Night Palace. If I were to pick one stage that perfectly encapsulates everything about Secret Rings, then it would be this stage. From the architecture of the palace, the ethereal space-like areas, to simply riding on a magic carpet, this level has it all. And that includes the music too, like, oh my goodness. Honestly, one of my biggest problems with Secret Rings was the controls, so if I was able to play this stage with Generations controls, who Boy! Sonic and the Black Knight. Both of the storybook games have really cool settings for their levels, and for Black Knight, I pretty much liked almost all of them. But, I'm going with Camelot Castle, cause like Knight Palace, Camelot captures its game setting, aka medieval setting, the best out of the lot. When researching, I even came across this mod for Generations which features Camelot Castle as a fully playable stage, making it even easier to visualize what it could look like. Sonic 4 Episode 1, Mad Gear. I mean, I kinda wanted to pick Splash Hill Zone, but I already picked a Green Hillish Zone before with Bridge Zone, so instead I'll just go with Mad Gear. Maybe it'll be similar to Planet Wisp in regular Generations, who knows? Although if I'm being honest, Planet Wisp in Generations was my least favorite stage, but let's not worry about that! Sonic 4 Episode 2, Sky Fortress. Nothing like a good old sky level, am I right? I mean, out of all the stages in Sonic 4 Episode 2, I would say this one is by far the most fun for me. You get to fly on the plane, run on the walls, float over the fans, it checks all the boxes. And with that, we have finally covered all the games of the colors and have caught up with the modern era generations. Actually, now that I think about it, are we still in the modern era? Or is this like the future era or super modern era or something else? Questions for later. Sonic Lost World, Tropical Coast, Act 3. On one hand, all the stages is just one giant rail. But on the other hand, it's so pretty, and the music is so good! Like, how are you gonna hate this? You can't. Maybe if they remade it, they could tweak it a little bit, so maybe there's some, like, regular walking sections. Or even just speed up the rate at which you rail grind or something. Either way, I think this is the strongest level in Lost World aesthetically, and think it would make a great level if done right. Sonic Boom, Rise of Lyric. Now, I originally wasn't even going to talk about this game, but I figured some people would ask where it was, so I guess I'll put it here. Now, I have no idea how I would rank these. First of all, I never even played the game. And second of all, looking at footage, these really aren't traditional platformer levels. These are more like a Jack and Daxter kind of deal. So I guess I'll pick Sky Citadel, because it's pretty. I don't really know what else to pick. Sonic Boom Shattered Crystal Seaside Jungle Whenever I think of Sonic Boom, I always think of jungle as the aesthetic, mainly because of the TV show. So why not pick the jungle level as the main level? Although one thing they could use throughout the level is the grappling hook. I think that could make for some fun exploring opportunities. Sonic Boom, Fire and Ice, Glacier Forest. Well, if I said the jungle is the aesthetic of Shattered Crystal, then a frozen jungle is the aesthetic of Fire and Ice. I mean, I feel like I just have to pick a level with either fire or ice in it, you know? considering the name. Yeah, I mean, I haven't really played the Sonic Boom games at all, so I can't really say how good the levels are, but from a glance, I think these would be the strongest ones. Sonic Mania, Studioopolis. 
I'm sure we've all heard YouTubers use this level's theme in their videos at some point. Top that funky beat with a beautiful city landscape and the television gimmick throughout and you got yourself a banger stage right here. I would love to see what this place looks like in 3D. Sonic Forces. Egg Gate. Okay, so imagine if we fused Egg Fleet and Final Rush together. You get this. Now I will say that in Forces the stage was a bit too short for my liking, so I'm hoping they would expand upon it in some way. But the idea is so good. Like, bro, you literally do the thing from Star Wars, like, what are we even talking about here? Sonic Frontiers. So, I'm conflicted with Frontiers. Like, how do you even pick a part of this game to make it to a stage? The islands are all just open worlds. Oh, sorry, I meant open zones. And the cyberspace stages are all based on past games, so I don't want to pick those. My idea is to maybe just run through short versions of all four of the islands, like a world tour of sorts. Once reaching the checkpoint, you just hop on either a teleporter or a cannon and go from one island to the next. Although that may be asking for a bit too much, so if I had to pick just one island, I'd probably pick Kronos. It's the first island, so most people are familiar with it, and maybe you could even have Giganto in the background doing his thing. And now the most recent game, Sonic Superstars! So I was going to pick Egg Fortress for its cool rewind time mechanic, but I just put Egg Gate for Forces, so I don't want to repeat of that. So instead of going with Cyber Station, I considered Golden Capital for a tiny bit, but I absolutely hate that stage with Burning Passion, so I discarded that idea immediately. Anyway, Cyber Station has a lot of fun gimmicks like the Mouse one and the Jellyfish one that's fun to use. Also, we get Voxel Sonic, and he is precious. And just to quickly go over the bosses and rival stages. For rivals, I'm thinking Fang, Emerald, and either Zavok or Sage. And for bosses, Sun Wukong, obviously, Egg King from Rush, and Knight. It's hard to determine where each era ends, so I just picked three across everything. And that is one stage from every mainline Sonic game I would pick to make a generation stage out of. Although I'm sure my list is far from perfect. So I'd really be interested in seeing what stages you guys would pick out of all these games as well. And if I didn't cover a specific game that wasn't mentioned here and are curious of what stage I'd pick from it, let me know down below. Welp, I'm gonna go back to my hidey hole and wait for Sonic X Shadow Generations and Sonic 3 to come out. So till next time, see ya! Mm -hmm.